What are you gonna do? I don't know. It's, well, I'm filming you. Well, I know you're filming me. Why are you filming me? Uh, I thought maybe you would tell what we're going to do. Oh, I think we're getting ready to build a fire. Okay. So, um, we've gathered some stuff here to see if we can get a fire started. Okay. Well, what Pooh Bear's done, I'm trying to block the sunlight, y'all, but what Pooh Bear's done is she's gathered me up some um, uh, pine needles, and we went down the road and we bought some firewood. Now, uh, all the time, of course, guys, I know I'm going to get a lot of slack about that, about, hey, uh, you know, you can't always buy firewood, but when you can, you know, like I said, we're, this is not a survival situation, this is a camping situation. So, I've split up some small wood, next size up, and then a couple pieces next size up, and then the next size up. And then, of course, we've got pieces over here for burning for the night. Now, what I've done is I've kind of dug this out a little bit. I know, a survival situation, you, know, you might not have a shovel. Well, in a survival situation, guess what? If our car breaks down, what do we have in the trunk? A shovel. That's right, and here it is. It's an emergency survival shovel. But anyway, like I said, we're not surviving. We're, we're not trying to do that right now. What we are doing is just doing some little camping tricks and uh, tips. And So what I've done is I've flattened this out really good. Now what I'm going to do with this here, this piece here, I'm going to set it in here and have a base. Okay. Now that's going to burn down and make some good coals. Now, See, we're fortunate enough to be under pine tree. So as you can see, all the pine needles, pine cones, they are excellent at starting fire. Not to start the fire, but once you get a flame going, they are excellent to catch. Now, let me show you what you can look around for. Now, I understand if you're in the desert, you're not going to have this. If you're in Alaska, you know, on the ice, you're not going to have this. And, um, but like, if you're out in the woods, surely you can find a pine tree or another tree. Like I said, this just camping we're fortunate enough to do this uh to be able to be in these pines now like look for if it's wet out if it just rained look for stuff like that on the tree before you gather up on the ground of course naturally it's going to be wet on the ground um look for now see these trees you know have been picked clean because we are in a campsite but uh normally you know if you're out in the middle of nowhere you find yourself in that situation uh, you know, look for branches on the tree that are dead, you know, like this. If you listen, well, no. That one's not quite dead, but that will work. It, it will save you. But look for stuff on the tree before you do on the ground. Now, these pine needles, they do, they will dry out pretty quick. So, like, if you get some and uh, grab a handful warm them up in your hand uh, spread them out a little bit if you get a little sunshine set them somewhere to where the sunshine will dry them out or carry them in your pocket or underneath your armpit for a little bit warm them up it will dry them out enough but like I said we're just we're just doing a camping video here so um, I've had uh, some comments about wanting to see us how we do the fire and this is how we do it now um, there's one woman was it Monica mm -hmm. That wanted to see a lot of, was it Monica? I think so. That wanted to see a lot of different things. Well, in this series, we're going to cover pretty much everything she wanted to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tripod up. It's a little windy. I hope you can hear me. And I uh, hope you can see it okay. I'm going to set the tripod up, and I'll be back with you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this down a little bit more. I'm going to use that as my base. Now, if you want to heat fire, you want to use rocks as your base, the flattest rocks you can get. Because once they get hot, they will warm the ground up. Since, since you know, it's like, right now it's like 79, 80 degrees. We don't need a heat fire. It's only gonna get down, I don't know, it's probably gonna be 56 tonight. So it's not, we don't need a heat fire. But in that situation, yes, you wanna use rocks. But this, we're, I'm just making a base because the ground, as you can see, oops, as you can see, is still a little damp. And that will take your, you know, your coals away. And but so I'm going to use this as a base. And by the time this burns through, this ground is going to be 90% dry. So 
I'm gonna be back with you. I'm gonna set the tripod up and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, back with you YouTube. Now if you watched our video, I know a lot of you have because you commented on what you wanted to see. You saw this and um, a lot of people will use these matches. They're like $2.50. I've seen Walmart today. They're $2.50. They're waterproof matches. All that is is there's a little piece of wax over the tip, not the whole match. That's what makes it waterproof. So here's the secret. You want some waterproof matches? Go buy you a box of Ohio Blue Tips for three bucks. You get what a thousand match, whatever. I, you know, don't quote me on that, but you know what I mean. Get a whole bunch of them and uh, light your candle at home and dip the ends, just the ends of them that you strike into the wax. That's what you need. That's where the 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 sulfur sulfate whatever it's called starts the fire from that's where that is that's what you want waterproofed and that if that's all waterproof matches are so there's there's a good little tip to make your own now like I said this is dryer lint okay now I'm gonna fluff some of this up now the reason why I have this sitting on here like I said that's damp so never set your any kind of striker or fire starter on the direct ground if you can help it because it will you know it can draw moisture so let's get some of this going here or get some of this down let's dig it out of here this is just actual dryer lint right out of, out of our dryer now I'm using probably 50 cent piece size of lint there and I'm gonna try with that now like I said in the other video you can actually um, scrape some of this magnesium off in there as well but I'm going to try this without the magnesium and see what happens now this will work as a striker of course you take it off the chain but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knife now everybody says don't don't do it don't use your knife well I, you know a dull knife's better than no knife you know but um, if you're going to use your knife, I'm going to use the back of it like this. That's what I'm going to do. You can do this because how often do you go clear up here? You can do that too. I might end up doing it. I don't know. But let's just see how this happens, see how this plays out. So what I'm going to do, I'll set this here. Now I'm going to take some of our, our uh, pine needles here. And let's see if I can get the lint to take a take a uh, take a spark. Let's see what we can do here. Now, what I usually do instead of going like this, see how that's you can push actually push that away. So what I'm going to try to do, if I can, is pull the flint stick back, so the spark goes down there instead of going like this and knocking your stuff everywhere so give that a shot sometimes it don't always work but if, if you're good enough yeah you can do that if you if you can stay back and direct your spark I'm not that great yet <laughs> so I'm going to see what I can do right here on the edge of this knife oh it did on the first one I didn't see it okay here we go now always have your 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 fire building stuff real handy like I just showed you in order so let's get this going it was started on the first one wow. just, yeah when I struck when I started striking I couldn't stop I seen it catch so now there's that remember do not put this on the ground set it somewhere your knife it don't matter but I just bought that it's a pretty cool knife Pooh Bear got it for me actually now let's get some of this in here like this now let's put some more of this on here now this one you'll have to blow on a little bit once you get this on there. But anytime you see smoke and sparks like that, you're all right. And then a lot of guys, they're good enough. They can uh, they can actually build the fire just like this and then start it. And all they got to do is blow on it, and they're already they're already done. They're skipping a step. And them guys are good. I'm not that great. I have done it, but since we're just camping, you know. I should practice up on it more because sometime I may need to do that. You never know. See how that's starting right there already, that wood's starting, and I haven't even blown on it. 
so I might not even worry about blowing on it. So. And it'll have to be pretty. Now what I'm building is called a teepee fire because it's going like this. A lot of guys, they'll build a log cabin fire or whatnot, and their fires burn really long and really hot as well, but it takes longer. It always takes at least a good hour no matter how you build a fire. But uh, they do it that way, and I have done it that way. But this is a little bit easier just camping. But if I was talking about heat and long term, I would I would do it the way them guys do it. And uh, you can use bricks too or rocks, like I said, for a heat fire. But since we're not needing that right now, I'm sweating. Um, I'm just going to do it this way. So now, see, as you can see, I did not have to blow on this. Um, but the damper the weather, of course, you're going to have to blow on it. The colder, you're going to have to blow on it. This one, fortunately, I have good dry wood. You're not always going to be in that situation. But the next time, maybe we're out, if it's raining real hard, maybe Monday if it rains while we're still here, I'll come out and try to build a fire for you in the rain. I've done it before. I know I can do it, and I'm 100% confident I can do it again because I'm prepared for that. Always be prepared. All these pine needles, pine cones, put them somewhere, put them in your shelter, put them in your tent, if your car can't, put them in the car, keep them dry. Guess what? You're going to have a fire when nobody else does. So, now I'm moving up a little bit bigger. Actually, my my um, base, I probably should have dug it out a little bit more, but th this I just used as a wind block. You don't want to make it too deep unless you're building a spit to like cook a hog or something. But you don't want to go too deep and, and drown out your uh, air. So, as you can see, we're getting plenty of air. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I'm going to hand it to Pooh Bear right behind me. Thank you. I'm going to keep a knife. There you go. And uh, this is a, an Ozark trail knife. Um, now, this is not a promo for them. I don't work for them by no means, but I just gave $8 or something for it at Walmart. Wasn't it, yep. Pooh Bear? Uh, real wooden handle. It is nice. It does have the. Now it is a little tight, but I mean it still flips out good. Um, so I'm kind of doing a little review as well. Uh, it's got a little clip. It's nice. It's a nice knife. It's not super duper sharp, but most knives aren't. If you want them sharp, sharpen them yourself, and you can get them sharp. This one I wasn't worried about. It's sharp enough for what I'm going to do with it this weekend. Uh, like I said, it, it, I'm not going to do a review on how good the blade is. I'm sure it will break if I get into batoning too much with it and stuff. I'm sure I could baton, you know, little stuff if I wanted to. But this is just, you know, just in case I got a, this is just, you know, just a little knife. Um, like I said, it's not survival. In a survival situation, you're going to want to do a lot more than what I'm doing here. So, but this is just camping, just little tips and tricks that, that make it a little more fun when you start a fire with a spark instead of you know half a gallon of gasoline um two jugs of um lighter fluid and you know i mean it's all right you get it going you get it going quick sometimes but this is kind of cool especially if you want to impress your friends or family which i had a comment they're going camping for the first time with their family this summer and uh, what was it poo bone lick yeah now i can't remember i, I printed this out so I can name your names, which I will, you know, if you keep watching the series, I will name your names. But she's going to Bone Lick and was talking about it. And here, it sounded familiar, but I didn't, the reason why I didn't respond yet was because I thought Pooh went, but I wasn't sure. And uh, Pooh Bear went when she was a kid. Yeah, just across the line in, of Ohio into Kentucky, not too far. Yeah, so just kind of just right over in Kentucky. And uh, she had mentioned it before, but, um, but. Um, Pooh Bear said you will have an awesome time if you go there. So, and I'm sure, you know, that being so long ago, I'll bet, like now they've got, you know, with more things and technology, I bet they've got a lot more things, you know, and uh, added on and stuff as well. So, Pooh Bear had a great time, and, uh, and she was really, she just thought it was cool to hear, you know, that somebody was going to there. So, and uh, she said, but she said, you, you'll have an awesome time. But anyway, back to the subject, you will impress your friends. Now, right now, you can blow on this. I don't have to, but I'm going to. See? But I'm going to. And there you go. Now, 
as that burns down a little bit, once you get more flames going, it'll take a few minutes, but once you get more flames going, I'm gonna move you here, um, you can start adding bigger stuff. But, so, I, I just wanted to do that for you, and um, get you moved up here you're on the tripod and use them but uh so hope you enjoyed that and just blow it take your time especially if it's damp out take your time do your preparation set everything out make sure you're good to go and uh if it is damp out remember you stuff off the off the trees if you can now i understand for you survivalists and uh preppers look you're not always going to be around trees you're not always going to break down around trees but if I break down the car, I've already got a shelter. I've always got I've already got a fire starter. I've got floor mats. I've got carpet. I've got headliner. Um, I, I can make a fire, no problem. I'm like I said, I'm a smoker. I've you know always got a lighter. We will survive. I, I I know how to do snares. I've caught animals with snares. I don't like to, because I like a good clean kill. Because I am a hunter, but in a survival situation. I have done that. If you guys want to see it, I know a lot of you don't. I can do a video like that. I really don't want to, but if I do, and I do catch something, which I will, I will eat it. I do not mess around. I don't like people who kill for the thrill. You know, they those guys can kiss my ass. Kill if you need food. If you hunt, that's fine. If you don't eat it, pass it on give it to Salvation Army they will give it to someone don't just kill something just to kill it don't just go out and kill you know a 12 point buck because you want the rack and leave it lay and don't give a shit about it don't do that because if you're one of those guys and you're subscribed to me unsubscribe right now because I don't go for that um, like I said I, I am but but you gotta think though in a survival situation I will do what I gotta do uh, it's you know the the chain of what is it, the food chain you know I mean we eat animals animals eat us animals eat other animals I mean you know right down the line uh, some of you don't I understand that and, and I'm not against that if you're vegetarian or vegan whatever that's fine that's 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 great but I do like meat and uh, you know if I was somewhere and and I got too close to bear and I got attacked he's gonna eat me so, you know, you got to think about it. In a survival situation, I will eat, and I will eat meat. I will gain weight. I, you know, I got to keep them, you know, carbs going. But for now, there's your fire, and um, I'm going to get this going. Uh, I think maybe Pooh Bear might be getting a little hungry. Maybe we'll do some, uh, maybe I'll do a little video, maybe some cooking on a tripod or something. So, but there's your fire building. So, there's going to be plenty more, like I said, maybe tonight. But either way, you keep watching the series, you will see me boil water in a plastic jug. So, it's going to be awesome. Stick around. Thanks for watching.